Okay, these right here are our boxes. Lithium iron phosphate, right? Uh, 48 volt, uh, 280. Well, between 280 and 314 amp hour uh, battery boxes. We've been selling the DIY version of these boxes. What does that mean? That means that you buy this, the box by itself, right? Like empty without cells, and then you put your own cells in there. So that's like a DIY thing. And we're not unique. There's a bunch of Chinese companies that are doing these type of, of boxes. Uh, you know, we're just one of many. Ours is made here in the United States. Yeah, some of those parts are Chinese, but for the most part, we assemble that here, design here and, and, and manufacture here. Um, but now what you're looking at here, those are the ones that have the white face, the DIY boxes, right? These right here are the plug and play. And these have these black face in here. Uh, and these uh, have been selling quite well. I haven't been <laughs> making videos because I, honestly, I've been working 12 hour shifts just making these. We sold, you know, over like 120, between 120, 150 of these boxes just uh, in the last uh, eight weeks, right? And so we're finally catching up. I think we're within 10 boxes of, of shipping out all our, our pending orders, right? So these are, you know, like the demand was crazy and then it kind of dipped and so now we're, we're, we're catching up. We're also getting faster at making them. This design right here is a bit different than the DIY and uh, we are able to make them faster make them quicker, there's less work. Uh, the work that we have to do is quicker to be done and stuff. And so that's the thing. But today I wanna to talk to you about why you might wanna choose one between the other one, right? This is two of the 14.8 uh, kilowatt hours. Depending on which cells you use, that's how much you know capacity the, the battery is gonna have, right? So it ranges between 14.8 to like 17, I think on these ones. And then this one is between like, I think with the 280s is like 29 point and a half or something kilowatts all the way to like, if you use the 314s all the way to like 32 kilowatt hours, right? So I just picked like a, a thing that's right in the middle and that's what I named it. This is a 14 kilowatt box. It's 14 and a half. Uh, this one is like a 30 kilowatt, which is like 29.8 or something. So why would you choose one box as opposed to two boxes. Isn't that exactly the same? And they are. Essentially, it's the same, right? Um, these boxes right here, the DIYs uh, right now are, and this ones are designed to use the same cells that are on these ones. So essentially what you're looking at here is the same thing. 32 cells, right? 16 on each box here, or 32 cells in that one. It's just in one box. So it's the same thing, same capacity. Uh, the price is going to be slightly different. You're going to spend more money, a little bit more money, buying the two as opposed to buying the single one. And I'll explain why, right? So think about this. The cost of the box is three main things. It's going to be the, the metal, right? The, the metal enclosure. Then it's going to be the electronics, which is the BMS, and then the cells. So in this case, for example, the cells are the same on both because you've got 32 cells. So whatever cost is here, the same cost is there. But the electronics, right? Uh, okay, so let's go now the metal. The metal uh, enclosure is two enclosures as opposed to one. And it's cheaper to make one than to make two uh, for simple reasons. Like, for example, uh, here there's a top and a bottom. So there's two pieces of metal where here you only have the one. It's the internal shelf that is made to hold the thing. So you're saving at least one part here. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, um, but usually single parts, even they're twice as big, cost less than two parts that are half the size. So that, there's some savings there. Also, the hardware. These were put in handles because these are about 230 uh, pounds. So you can you can handle them. You know, two people can lift them and then position, you know, they can move them around. On these, we're completely foregoing the handles because we don't even want you to attempt to lift this. This is like 500 pounds, right? Two of these together, right? So 
we don't want that. So what we're doing is we're going to give you like a little hook. This one doesn't have it here, but we have a hook so that you can use like a hoist, an engine hoist or some a, a forklift, a tractor, some kind of like machinery. Uh, also, we ship them in like a dolly with wheels so that you can just roll it off of the pallet and then put it in there. Right. So you're saving now uh, money because we don't have eight handles on this one. So we forgo that. Um, also think about this, like the terminals, for example, on this one, there's two here, there's four there. You save yourself the cost of two. Then the other thing is the electronics, right? So these ones right here have a, uh, two BMSs, right? Where this one has one. Now we are going to put, these ones are 150 amp BMSs, which are cost slightly less, but there's it's less money to buy a single one that has a 200 amp bms right now these are shipping with 200 amp bms i think in the future we're gonna bump it up to 300 amp bms but we have to modify the design slightly because we need to put more uh a bigger um a fuse in there right so we have to design that for that but for right now it's like yes yeah, 200 amps out of this one uh you can get 300 amps off of these two so there are this is the only reason why you might want this is instead of that right if you want to save money then this is the way to go this is cheaper you save yourself uh having to connect you know to an extra battery in there and having to have extra wires and cables right because it's in it's done internally right so only two bus only two terminals in there um but if you need more than 200 amps for example continuously then two of these might be better than a single one right but very few people actually need that right like if you need more than 200 amps then you're gonna get several of these batteries but you think about it then then you're discharging your battery like within two hours and I, I there's very few people that want to have a battery deplete their battery that quick or they want a small enough battery that only lasts two two and a half hours right so usually yeah if you have like a huge load like you have like a giant house that has a lot of like two electric cars and the AC units or the whatever, then you're not going to be connecting it to a single one little, one of these little batteries, right? I mean, it's not little, it's 30 kilowatt hours, right? But yeah, you're going to have at least two or three of these, which now then doubles the, the capacity. You're like two of these will do 400 amps, three will do 600 amps, right? So now you're getting into like big power and you can save yourself by doing three of these instead of six of these, right? Because then you don't have to buy all that hardware, all that extra BMS is all that extra uh, metal, all that extra handles, all the stuff, right? Now, if you do need to move them by yourself, you don't have the machine, you don't have the thing or whatever, then, you, then that's another reason you might want these. But then you'll, you'll have to pay slightly less. So I hope this kind of explains the difference between them. There's really not much difference in here except for these small things that could be very important to you, right? So it's small to, to, to me, but big to somebody else, right? So those are it. These are on our website. Um, we had a crazy, crazy price for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And if you were able to get, uh, you know, in then that, then you, you, you got a deal. Like you definitely, like even Chinese manufacturers cannot compete with us because, well, we're kind of established battery uh, dealer here in the U.S. now. And, and because the prices of uh, lithium iron phosphate is kind of dropping it's kind of volatile. Uh, we're able to secure some of these uh, batteries cells for like, I mean, it's close to free. This kind, of, the kind of deal, right? Like sometimes what's happening. So just to, just a tiny bit of how this works. There's so many people getting into batteries. There's so many companies that they are submitting a lot of these designs to like the UL or some of these labs. So once they do the testing. They're not testing to see like the, the cell, right? They're testing like the, the box and the thing and the bus bars and all this stuff. So once that's tested, whether they pass or it doesn't pass, then usually those people want to get rid of the battery because they can't. Even if it passes and they're ready to go to the proofs and everything, uh, well, sometimes they're like before, like the company's ready to go into production because they didn't know if it was going to pass or not, or they're not ready to like provide like customer service on a battery. Also, I think there's some laws or something that prevent you from like selling that as a, as a like a regular unit. You would have to sell it as like an open unit or whatever. So it's kind of weird for them to start out their company by selling some product that's not 
like a regular thing. So a lot of the times what these companies will do, which is will pay people like me to kind of make these go away. And so that's why sometimes we have batteries that are like brand new with like one or two cycles and they're perfectly good. They could be used as is, but we are like, no, we have to break it down, separate it, make it into something else sort of like this and then sell them because these cells are brand new. They shouldn't be destroyed. They should be used. So that's why we are able to get source these like cells like super, super cheap. In this case, the ones we're using for these, like we actually got paid to, uh, to, to, to make them go away, to basically like to undo that project, right? That it was a huge project, grid level projects that are being sent for, uh, well, for evaluation so that they can, they can, you know, these companies get go into business and provide like giant, like grid level container size batteries, right? And so as a result of that, you know, we have a kind of an edge on like the Chinese manufacturers. They have to pay for, for these. Now, of course, this doesn't work for everyone. If you, for some reason, must have like, you know, like A grade brand new cells, uh, um, then we might not be able to supply. Although we did have some CATLs that were like also, again, test units and they were, um, those are gone right now. And so the, the ones we have here are for like RTC cells, which are like a budget cell. Um, and so, you know, for, for most people, this is going to be fine. This is going to last forever. It's going to last, it's going to be 15, 20 years, right. Of life. Uh, but they're, they don't have the premium name. They don't have the premium QR code that you can check that sort of stuff, right? If you must have that, then yeah, you can get our DIY box and then source the batteries from a Chinese company. Uh, even through us, we actually sell those, those batteries, right? We get them from China and then import them, get them in here, stock them and sell them now just you're gonna have to you're gonna pay more right if you just right now want to pay the you know getting this deal that we're doing here with these boxes then yeah you'd have to kind of this kind of has to work for you so there you go if you haven't been paying attention we're selling these on our website we have several designs i'm working on a vertical design also because sometimes people don't have space in their garage for example they want to put it right on their wall where they park their car and you know having this cut in half and then put it right up against the wall makes a difference between them being able to do the thing. So we just want to be able to cover all our bases and have, you know, the re regular vertical, the double box, and then the, you know, the, 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 the horizontal and then the vertical, right? Both of those designs. So stay tuned for that. If that's what you need, uh, we're very, very close to finishing and finalizing that design. But this is what's been happening at Jack 35. That's why I haven't been around making videos because I've been busy Making boxes. I over a hundred of these in the last four weeks that we've shipped. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty tired. We're kind of glad to just get a little bit of time off here for the holidays. Uh, we hope everybody else is having a good holidays. Uh, this New Year's, to, to, today's New Year's when I'm shooting this, right? So I'm getting ready to go and spend some time with family and enjoy a little bit of time off and stuff. But I want to make this video and upload it for you guys. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep those battery projects going. It's never been a better time to get into battery because prices are literally free falling. Uh, so now anybody can afford to have a big battery to, to power their house, power their business, power, you know, all that stuff. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.